everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> The blue ball edition. I don't think I've ever actually experienced blue balls. I don't know what that is. This is my dog, Blue. Hi, Blue. And he has no balls. Aww. <laughs> that's my favorite color, Blue, right there. This is my favorite color, Blue, too. Look at that little face. All right, so what are we gonna be doing today, Rave? Blue balls. We are gonna be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of season six. All start of this uh, challenge involves design, and you know that is one of my favorite things: is to see a queen who can create something out of absolutely nothing. And the theme is blue, obviously. We're going through three different looks, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of a lightning round, which people who watch this, some people don't like it when we, when we do lightning rounds. Well, yes, and this is called life, and in life, not everyone gets what they want. She said it. So we're gonna do a lightning round of the first two looks, which is Blue Better Work and Blue Jean Baby. So we're gonna do a lightning round of those two and get those out of the way. But we are going to go in on the look, the blue ball eleganza. And for this one, they had a pile of blue everything. My favorite challenge. Make something out of stuff. Love it, ready. Category is Blue better work. First girl to the stage is... Raja O'Hara. She looks like she is about to go pick trash up off the side of the freeway. I got construction foreman. Raja looks like she is going to go tell other people at a construction site what they need to be doing, how they need to be taking care of business. Like she is in charge. For me, it's okay. I'm not into it. Too literal. It could have been more fashion. I'm gonna boot it. Boot. Next to the stage, Kylie Sonique Love. Blue collar, but make it sexy. Yes. She can do my plumbing anytime. Toot. Toot. Next to the stage, Eureka. Yes, crossing guard, making sure the kids get across the street safely. Oh, stop, she said with a W. Stop and strut. Oh, and a reveal on the ass. I give it a toot. Toot. Next to the stage, Jan. Oh, she's a mechanic. I see. Michelin woman, two. That's a two. Next, Jiggly Caliente. Oh, and she's picking up trash. She's got the lid on her head, bitch. <laughs> and she's got all of the other contestants' names on the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> I live. Genius, love it, toot. Toot. Next, Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Oh, the Milkman, okay. Usually the Milkman wears white. This is okay, I don't really see Milkman. You can't just bring the prop and be like, oh yeah, I'm a Milkman. Yeah, because without that, I would not know you were the Milkman or yeah. the Milk person. Nah. No, boo. Yeah, I'm gonna boot this too. Next, we bring to the stage Scarlet Envy. A carpenter, a woodworker. Her outfit is literally made of wood grain. And she's got the saws, the wheel saws going through her. Toot. That's a toot. Next, we bring to the stage Akiria. She's a welder or a plumber. Pipe Slayer. Make uniform fashion, make it sparkle. It's a toot. That's fun. I give it a toot. Next, Pandy, oh, the lunch lady. She's missing a hairnet. She is. I think that's the problem for me. It needs a hairnet, like an obvious one. She's kind of French made lunch lady. And then it turns into like someone working at a um, diner, a 50s diner. I like this. I'm gonna give it a two. Mm. Boot. Next, we bring to the stage, Yara Sofia. <laughs> Yara loves those jiggly titties. But look at her muscly arms. <laughs> but then the flat boot. Mm. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm into two. it. That's a two. <laughs> Next we bring to the stage. Ginger Minge. Oh, she's like Rosie the Riveter. She's a carpenter. She's a plumber with a butt crack. That's adorable. I'm into it. I give it a two. Mm. Uh, two. 
Next, we have Trinity K. Bonet. No, too literal for me. Crossing guard apparently is a theme. No, not, not too excited about this. Boot. Boot. All right, next up, in the blue ball eleganza, we have Blue Jean Baby. And you know I love denim on denim on denim on denim on denim on denim. So give me more denim. Give me more, give me, give me more denim. Mm hmm Yes, Brittany. The category is Blue Jean Baby. Our first girl to the stage is Raja O'Hara. Sexy. I love a full-leg pant. It almost feels like she's wearing a palazzo pant, which I really totally appreciate. Love denim. I love this look. I give it a two. Two. Next to the stage, Kylie Sonique Love. Giving you Christina Aguilera. Dirty. It gives me early 2000, uh, the video, you know, any video. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, love it. And she's also rocking the, the trans flag, baby. Toot. Toot. Next, Eureka. Yeah, I, you know, I, I prefer my denim a little bit more distressed. I just think that it's boring. I just think for denim, it could have been a lot more. Raja, like you said, I do prefer a little bit of, of a distressed look on my mm -hmm. denim mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to match the distressed look on my face most of the time. <laughs> this distresses me. So I'm gonna say this is a boot. Boot. Next we have to the stage, Jan. Bitch, that is spectacular. I want to wear that um, while I'm gardening. Patchwork, shape, gorgeous. It's a f toot, bitch. Toot! Next we have Jiggly Caliente. Give me those pants, Jiggly. Oh my God, they're like Jinko. They're like Jinkos. She's got a skateboard. Oh my God, I'm into it. I want to see her ride it though. I bet you want to see her ride it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. I think she looks cute. I give this look a two. Two. Next, silky nutmeg ganache. Not enough denim. Not enough denim. No. I think the feature was really taken. I mean, the denim part was really kind of uh, almost an afterthought compared to the the beautiful red thing. All that red stuff belongs to another outfit for another challenge. Missed opportunity for denim. So as far as yeah. the challenge itself, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a boot. Boot. Next we have Scarlet Envy. I am, um, yeah, I like this. I really think that the hair doesn't necessarily go with a hat as much as I'd like it to. But overall, the colors, the red, white, and blue kind of thing, you know, is really cool. Yeah, it's a two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage, Akira. Sexy, love it. Damn. I love a bolero. I do love that bolero. The lacing on the pants, the peekaboo parts are really, really great. But those were a bitch to put on, getting your toes stuck in there all the way down, <laughs> bitch. She looks gorgeous, very sexy, and that hair is unbelievable. I give it a two. Yeah, it's a two. Next, we bring to the stage, Handy. Gorgeous. I'm seeing a theme. I'm seeing a trend. I like it. Denim on denim, she got this assignment correct. She looks beautiful. She's giving me country music star. With the tiniest little denim hat in the world. Yeehaw. Toot. Toot. Next, we have Jada Sophia. Yes, giving it, serving it, sexy, body. Puerto Rican, gorgeous diosa. I love her. Is that denim? Doesn't look like denim. It's like a stretch denim. It's denim print. Um, toot. Toot. Next, Ginger Minge. Cute, I love that little jacket. I love the boots. The boots are my favorite. I love it. I love that sleeve. I love the way it fits her. And it's denim and diamonds, you know? She looks sexy. Love it. Toot. Toot. Next we have Trinity K. Bonet. She looks great. Sexy. Covered up. More bell bottoms. She looks adorable. Very different for her. I like it when a bitch steps out of her own box a little bit. I like her a little covered up like that. I give Trinity K. Bonet a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage. In their blue ball eleganza, the looks they had to create while they're in the workroom with a pile of blue stuff. My favorite challenge. Let's see what the bitches bring. Category is 
Blue Ball Bonanza. Raja O'Hara. That's gorgeous. She serves. She made that herself. I love the length of those sleeves. I love the points on those shoulders without it being too much. I love the way it crosses over. I love the little dress that goes along with it. Uh, the whole thing. Clearly, Raja knows what her way around a sewing machine. Obviously, she showed us that in the first episode, but it's a sexy shape and she looks really beautiful. It's well constructed. Now, I would like to see a little bit more embellishments on it, but overall, what am I talking about? She made that thing and it's beautiful. So I give her a two. That's a two. Next, we bring to the stage, Highly Sonique Love. Oh, I love this. Oh, I do too. I think it's beautiful. I love the stars. Stars, pentagrams are one of my favorite shapes. This hair looks really beautiful on her. When is she not sexy? Like she could take something that's completely ugly and non-sexy and make it look super sexy. The only thing I wish is that the sarong or the wrap was a little longer or a little shorter. It's at that weird length where it's like, I kind of wish it were above her knee. So it was like real, just like sexy, or it was right to the floor. So it was just kind of a little bit of elegance. Yeah, I was gonna say to the floor would have been great if it touched the floor or even had a slight train to it to give it some drama. But otherwise it's gorgeous. She did it herself and it looks fantastic. So I give her two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage, Eureka. Uh, yeah, I have a, I have a hard time with this. I think I think the length is a little bit like funny. Makes her legs look a little lumpy from her pads. I just wish maybe there was a little bit of crinoline or something under there to pop it out. If it were gonna be that short, like might as well just have it sticking straight out. The length for me is a real problem. It just looks really weird. And I love a, a short skirt. I love it. I just think it could use a little bit more length across the butt area. I can see the sofa underneath and that's the only problem I have. Or it needs some sort of edging on the hem of the dress. You know what I mean? Like it just needs something to it. It's a little, little like vulgar short. Ooh. And I never thought that word would ever, those words would ever come out of my mouth, but I just, I'm not really that excited about this. So I'm gonna give this one a boot. I mean, the bodice is, is constructed very well. I will give her that, but overall, Nah, it's a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Jan. I love the way she did the colors of the flowers where it created that gradient around her head. A bit of an ombre. Yeah, the hair blends into the colors of the flowers. Very smart, it was placed well. We've seen this before where people create cage skirts on RuPaul's Drag Race, but it's nice to see that she's done it in this beautiful shade of blue. One of the easiest go-tos also is when you're constructing something that you wanna add beauty and volume to it, it's just to glue a bunch of flowers or add flowers to it. How pretty, blue flowers, gorgeous. I love it. Florals for spring. Groundbreaking. It's a toot. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage, Jiggly Caliente. No, ma'am. I need her to go back to the when she had to make the post pakaka laka 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 on her season. You'd rather she wear that? Yeah, I would rather she wear that. This is just not enough. No, no, no. This is a no for me. It's a poncho, which is a great go-to, but then just blue things thrown on it where it doesn't create anything to where you look at it and go, wow, I want to wear that. Or where did she get that? You're just kind of like, why is she wearing that? I love the way her skin looks. She's got that highlighter all over. It looks great, it looks beautiful. It looks like she has tights on, but she I don't believe she does because even on her arms and her shoulders, she still has that shimmery highlighter metallicness. Beautiful. I also have major PTSD for tinsel curtains. It takes me back to the times of COVID when everyone performed in front of a tinsel curtain. And what this looks like is she was doing a performance on her Instagram live and was drunk and got herself tangled in her backdrop and eventually just decided to wear it, which sounds cool, but it doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a boot. boot. Next we bring to the stage, Silky Nutmeg Gonwash. So she made a little a little jumpsuit with a little coverlet. I love that she pulled the stuffing out of that thing and just said, I'm gonna shove some in my hair. I'm gonna shove some right here. I'm gonna shove some right there. I will give her props for creating a garment that fits well because doing pants, bitch, that's not easy. 
I love the blue shoe. I like this combination. I could actually see myself wearing something like this. I like a poncho over something. I love a bell bottom. This is a toot for me. Two. Next, we bring to the stage Scarlet Envy Gorgesa. Gorgeous. That fits her body so well. It curves and hugs and pinches and cinches at every place it should on her body. Pinches and cinches, yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I love the, the, the shoulder piece too, I find really nice and yeah. interesting. Something that feels a little structural and sculptural. And I love the hair with it. Mm-hmm, absolutely stunning. I like it a lot. It's a very classic shape. I give her a two. Two. Next, to the stage, Akira Davenport. Mm, yeah, no. I have a problem with the length. Yeah, the length is off. And then the center of the garment, where it you can tell it's been put onto a corset, should be cinched in a little more. Now she used clear blue plastic cups and created this scale-like texture. However, no, it doesn't fit right. And the length is wrong. I like the inventiveness of creating shape, scales, texture with unusual materials, but I just think it fits really funny. I don't think she intended it to have that weird flare at the bottom. The skirt length is a little funny. It could go a little higher for me. Again, I like the, the part where she's been very inventive in, in what she's, you know, created, but it's a boot for me. Boot. Next, we bring to the stage Pandora Box. Blue ribbon winner. It's pretty. Yeah, I wonder what she used. Are those napkins? Are they, are they, uh, tablecloths. This, I like the different lengths of this. I like that it's kind of haphazard where a bunch of fabrics are put onto something to create different layers as opposed to one weird length. Yeah, but this one, I do like it. The handkerchief skirt, I think it's referred to as. The dance of the seven handkerchiefs. And I love the use of the blue ribbon because, you know, everyone knows a blue ribbon. Yeah, it's cute. It's a toot. I give her a toot. Next, we bring to the stage Yara Sofia. I like the shawl. Mm -hmm. For me, I like the entire thing. Yara is one of those people who is very, very crafty and is a DIY champion. The difference between this tinsel uh, concoction uh, as compared to Jiggly's is that there's just more of it, which gives it all the excitement and effect of a feather boa. So I'm into it. And the dress is sexy too, it fits her nicely. I love that hair. I'm glad to see her not wearing those big pendulous boobs. Oh yeah. But she does look good. She looks great. No, she does. I like it. It's a toot. It's a toot. Next, Ginger Minge. And she's made herself a trench coat. Yes, love a trench. I always think that trench coats are very sexy. It's kind of on the borderline. It's kind of like, but it's tootable. I'll give it a toot. I give it a toot. Next, we have Trinity K. Bonet. Cinderella, bitch. She's either Cinderella or she could be the blue fairy from um, Pinocchio, darling. Beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. The hair looks amazing. Oh, and she left her shoe. Isn't that sweet? She's giving you realness. Yeah, everything is beautiful. The hair all the way down to that shoe. Beautiful. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Toot. Toot. We've seen all their looks in the blue ball eleganza. In my experience of being on Drag Race, I know how difficult it is to do multiple looks in one day. So I give it up to all these queens for bringing their best game into this. Yeah, good job, bitches, on the blue ball. Trend alerts. Bell bottoms. Bell bottoms. Flared pants. Ding dong. Yeah. Fishtail pants. Jordan. Ding, 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 went the bell bottoms. Yes. Bell bottoms, flared pants, big legs. Yes, yes, flared bottoms. Yes, yes, flared bottoms. Flared bottom is what I called you. That's me. Because your bottom's all flared, honey. That was one of my nicknames. <laughs> was. Still is. Our top two of the week is. Trinity K. Bonin. TKB in the house. Work Cinderella. She's a princess. Cinderella. Work princess. Living, living for the full fantasy. TKB. You can catch an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 6 on Paramount Plus and Wow Presents Plus. I will say, I. Was expecting to leave with blue balls, but these bitches brought it, and I'm just, my balls are fine. Mmm, you feeling satisfied and drained? I'm feeling nice and drained, bitch. Ooh, wow. 
Yeah. No blue balls here. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next week. Bye. Bye. You wear it, you wear it, you wear it.